one of the most underrated muscles in the human body is the, the upper trap. Why is the upper trap underrated? The upper trap is underrated because it literally serves as the linking point or the bridge between your shoulder and the back of your head or your neck. That means the upper trap strength and stability both helps dictate not only your shoulder function, but also your neck function and your neck stability. Now let's have some fun with this today. Um, so we're gonna take the, the attachment sides of the muscle and we're just gonna tape them on here. So the upper trap literally attaches to the back of your head. Okay, so it's attaching right back here under what's called your occiput, right there, okay? And, oh boy, let's see if we can get this taped on here just a little bit better than this. Okay, so your upper trap literally, we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna, we're gonna play with these attachments today. So the upper trap attaches from the back of your head, maybe not quite this high, but about right in here, all the way to about C7, T1, and then it runs all the way up here onto your shoulder blade like this. So, here's your upper trap so that I can kind of free my hands. So every time you lift your arm overhead, your upper trap has to help your scapula move as your arm is moving overhead. Because if your shoulder blade is moving with your arm, which happens during a very normal movement that's called scapulohumeral rhythm, the movement of your shoulder blade with your arm as you're taking your arm out here or as you're raising your arm up here. Your upper trap is assisting that movement. It, it's literally one of the prime movers of a motion called scapular upward rotation. That's very, very important, but the upper trap doesn't get credit for uh, lateral raises many times. It doesn't get credit for uh, a lot of the shoulder press movements where your shoulder blade's having to move with your arm. It's very involved with the exercise that I've went over multiple times, the upright row. Now, if your upper trap isn't functioning properly or if it's not strong, it can't help your shoulder blade move with your arm, and that's a pretty darn big deal. Let's also talk about your neck. Cervical stability also depends on the strength of your upper trap. It basically links your scapula and, the, and your neck together. You know, a lot of us hold tension in our neck. What the upper trap does get credit for many times is known as the shrug. Since your upper trap attaches to the back of your head, we have talked multiple times about when you're isolating a movement, you need one segment to stay still as the upper, other segment is moving around it for maximal shortening. Since your upper trap attaches to the back of your head, when you're doing a shrug and your shoulder blade is coming up this way, you want your head to stay still. You don't want this segment moving along with this segment. You want one segment to stay still so that the other seg segment has something to pull off of. So when you're doing a shrug, oftentimes you'll see somebody come up like this and kind of jut their neck out or move their head around. But when you're doing a shrug movement, you really want your neck to stay completely still as you're upwardly rotating your scapula, essentially around a still neck. 